Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Stablehost account. As you can see, we've already opened the welcome email and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the cPanel. We'll log in. And here you can see the Stablehost cPanel control panel. We'll scroll all the way down to the Softaculous Apps Installer section and click on the WordPress icon. This is the Softaculous Apps Installer. We'll click on the Install tab. And here you can see the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. We'll begin with the selection of a protocol. We'll select the triple W version. Choose domain. The domain name here is correct. In directory, as we would like WordPress to be the content management system for our entire website, we want to install it in the root. And we will therefore X out WP. Database name. The default here is fine. Table prefix, the default is fine. Site settings, we'll give our site a name. Site description, we'll add a description here. Enable multi-site. As we only require one installation of WordPress, we'll leave that blank. The next step is to select a username. Admin is fine. We'll paste a secure password here. Admin email. The default is fine. Select language. English is fine. Limit login attempts. This is an excellent plugin I highly recommend. It helps to thwart hackers, so we'll check that off. Next, we'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We'd like to receive notifications of when there are updates for our WordPress installation, so we'll leave that unchecked. Auto upgrade, that's a time saver. We'll check that off. Auto upgrade plugins, same there. Auto upgrade WordPress themes, also a time saver. Automated backups, we would like backups made of our WordPress installation. So we'll select once a week. Backup rotation. This is the number of copies of our WordPress site that are stored on the server, and four should suffice. And the next thing to do is simply to click on the Install button. And as we can see, WordPress is installing. The message tells us that WordPress was installed successfully. We'll click on the WP Admin link so we can log into the WordPress dashboard. And here you can see our brand new WordPress dashboard. From this screen, we can control all aspects of our WordPress site to create a new post. We simply go to Plus, New, Post. We add a title for our post here. We add our post's content here. And click the Publish button. But we won't be creating a new post today. We're simply going to take a look at our new WordPress site by clicking the Visit Site link at the top of the dashboard. And here you can see our brand new WordPress site. It's a little bit ugly, but we can change the look of the site by selecting a different theme from the dashboard. 
We can also delete the default Hello World post from the dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.